In the summer of 2013, uh, we were inspected by Ofsted, and the college got good for the first time. It had always been um, uh, grade three before that. <coughs> and I started to think about what we would need to do to become an outstanding college, because that's the next step up. And it occurred to me that what you need to do to be outstanding is different from moving up from average to good. It's something you need to be something very, very special. <coughs> so I'd um, seen a, a consultant called Tony Davis um, a, a number of years before and realised that he, his, his idea of having gold standards which you actually develop in the college for yourself was the way to go. So we started doing that. And how that kind of links to the teaching and learning thing is, although we'd already started having an ungraded system, we wanted to actually make our teaching and learning system much more developmental for staff, so they could really try out new techniques. And the problem with grading is that people kind of freeze up because they don't want to get a bad grade, so they don't try anything new. So by getting rid of grades and encouraging teachers to experiment, then we thought we'd actually kind of get much better teaching going on, which would be good for the students. The new uh, development observation process is actually, I think the fir first thing about it is that it's not so stressful because, you know, previously we had to prepare for about 20 lessons and you could be observed in, in any session, but this time it was very much more relaxed uh, because we could choose uh, what we wanted to, sh to show really. It give, I think it gave me the opportunity to be more experimental. Uh, try out new strategies um, without being uh, judged, b b without being afraid of failing, um, because it was more about encouraging me to, to develop, I think. Uh, the most thing I've enjoyed this year, it was teamwork, because you could um, learn something in a funny way, sometimes, you know, people who does jokes and all that, and uh, we could have learned something from that. And um, I think the way teachers and the way they teach was really good. I think I will be far more prepared for whatever unforeseen circumstances come in the class. And then by targeting whatever I need to improve, the lessons will be better, the students will achieve more, their attendance will improve because they'll think, oh, those are great lessons that you delivered, I don't want to miss them anymore. See what I mean? So uh, hopefully that's, that will be the case. I have learned many, many important things. Um, by yesterday I, I had a interview with the um, college governor and, just, and it was very useful. And now I'm ready for job interview. We had quite a lot of CPD for the English side in terms of looking at our functional skills delivery and how we can help drive that up. We've had external people come in from AQA, from Dexcel Functional Skills, giving us training sessions on how to develop writing ability, how to understand questions and how to actually answer questions. So we've had quite a lot, which I think the learners should have seen over the year in the lesson delivery. The Gold Standards aims to improve uh, learners' opportunity to learn. Um, it also affords um, staff to really explore how um, learners learn and how they're assessed. Um, and it gives um, an opportunity for staff and learners to experiment with their learning, um, to see how they can do things slightly differently, take risks, try new things, be experimental and have fun. I, we was learning how to develop film and it was really difficult but what made this lesson so efficient to me as a person, um, it was the fact that when you're new to something it gives you a bigger aspect on what you're actually doing because when I came into college I didn't know 
what I wanted to do. And it seems like the courses that I'm doing now have really inspired me and given me a bit of bigger outlook of what I want to do in the future, if that makes sense. Yeah. What actually has been really exciting for us teachers has been to be able to try out new things, uh, to experiment, maybe um, look at problems in the classroom, and also then reflect on what we have done with a view of making our practice outstanding. And I think that space we've had to be able to actually reflect on our practice, something that's been really welcomed by all of us. What's really good about the gold standards is that it frees teachers up from any kind of particular pedagogy or method. It's all about the impact on the students. So developing students to be more independent, to be more creative, resilient. So what we have, have developed through a whole college approach by everybody joining in and contributing is a set of standards that are Harrow College's own. And then alongside that, having this developmental observation process which frees people up from being graded means that they can innovate, experiment, decide what they want to work on and then work on the analysis of that afterwards. Gold standards are our way of ensuring that we demonstrate that the college um, is an outstanding institution and more importantly provides an outstanding um, service, quality of service for our students and their experience with us. And that goes from right across from the time that they are recruited um, all the way through uh, their teach the experience of their own learning and how they develop and progress um, through their studies until they actually leave us and become alumni. Um, and it enables um, really everyone to actually be involved, the whole college, to be involved in that process, um, which is really critical to us because we're a college that wants to be outstanding. The gold standards are the route map that gives us as stakeholders the confidence to continue on our journey towards outstanding. It's a working document that gives us targets and measurable outcomes that also gives us the flexibility on an ongoing basis for reflective practice.